right, so in this we're going to uh, go over some exercises you can do to obtain mastery over Ionian. Um, I've had a couple of replies that have said that I'm not very thorough in explaining basic things, and but, th but this, is, this is intentional. My channel is not about basic stuff. Like if I say something like half cadence, full cadence, I expect people to know that when they're watching my channel. And I'm so I apologize to people who don't, but if you don't, there's a, a million videos out there on that on topics like that and inversions and simple chord progressions. So my channel's about mastery mostly, and 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 concepts revolving around that. So we're gonna do st little steps where we can master Ionian in any key. I'm gonna use one e one exercise and show you ten different ways to use it. Um, this is mastery. This is how to get mastery um, over something, over Ionian in this case. And we're not even going to use upper extensions. We're going to use seventh chords at, at the least. So we're going to use one, four. This progresses seven, three, six, two, five, one. The reason being is it uses all the chords of Ionian or the major scale, whatever you want to call it. I'm not real picky about stuff like that. So the first thing you might want to do is just kind of play it in a way that maybe ascends by finding the closest, nearest tones. Stuff like this. Seven, three, six, two, five, one. Okay. Now, their chords are all written out for you, including when I do slash chords in the version. So you want to do this in every key. All 12. That's mastery. When you can do this in any of these keys, that's mastery. This, this, and this is very simple stuff right here. I'm not trying to be rude, but that's actually, this is very simple uh, harmonic stuff. So what I would probably do next is I sat down and wrote all these out the, yesterday, and this is not all the ways. So yeah, I'd probably go downwards for seven by finding the nearest notes say okay the same chord progression now i went downwards by just finding the nearest notes so now i would start using inversions uh, let me go ahead and resize this to where it uh, there we go no. so I basically just wrote all these out, and some some were you know memorized, some were not. There's so many ways to play one progression. So I'd do this. The inversions are written for you. This is the uh, progression. Same progression. Same progression, but using inversions. I would start memorizing inversions, doing exercises like that, and. Again, no matter what key, you should be able to do this easily in any key or, or work towards that point. You know, working towards that point where you can transpose anything to any any of the 12 uh, major keys. Ionian. So here's another exercise we could do. I was, I was just kind of writing these out um, one at a time just to show how many different ways you could use the same progression. So it's starting on the fifth one, four... I got the inversions in there for, for you. Seven, three, six, two, five, one. Okay, and what I mean by knowing, being able to do this in every key is it includes writing it out and on maybe a keyboard and your main instrument, if your main instrument is contrapun, is capable of producing more than one note. If it's a it's if it's a single note instrument, use a keyboard. So this exercise here uses every inversion possible with the same progression. And it just rises. One, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one, repeat one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one, one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one. Okay. This is 
you, literally this exercise forces you to use every single inversion. So now let's let's throw some more wrenches into this. Uh, let's use all seventh chords from here on out. So in this case, we're using three notes, seventh chords. The C major which was the seventh, all just with uh, a root and a third and a seventh. Same progression. And now you can just repeat it to number seven if you want to, because that's where you end up. It's all written out here for you. Okay. It's all written out here for you, so I'm not going to call out everything. It's, it's the same progression. But again, you want to be able to do this eventually in all keys, stuff like this, or be able to transpose something like this really easy. Eventually. You don't have to do it right away. Work on one key at a time, literally. So, so that's... So literally work on one key at a time. In this case, we're dealing with C major or a C Ionian, whatever name you want to give it. It doesn't really matter. It's all the same thing. So, uh, so let's go on to number eight. We're still using, we're going to use alternate between sevenths and, and regular triads using a similar exercise we did before using an inversion on the seventh chord and then no inversion on the triad. It's all written out for you. Six, two, five, one. Now, once again, you want to you want to learn stuff like this. Be able to transpose this really easy. Let's say B flat. And I was using octaves, but it doesn't really matter. It's still the same exact chord progression, same exact inversions. So, um, let's move on to number nine. You might want to start doing exercises of this like this where you use where you just try to find the nearest uh, voicing to produce the next seventh chord so C major seventh F major seventh over C etc still the same chord progression one and four four seven three six two five one and we're not interested in creating a performance here do it really slow if you need to pause if you need to to find the next one but and then of course you want to be able to transpose this eventually if you want mastery this is stuff that should become second nature repeating that So I'm just going through this like an exercise, like you would playing scales if you want to get fast. Okay, this is I'm I'm not a keyboard player, so I don't want to be fast on the keyboard. I'm, this is just an ex harmonic exercise. So which leads us to number ten, really close quarter voicings like this. Um, just another exercise you could do this one, and then you just find the nearest notes four. Seven, three, six, two, five, one, and then one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one. Literally, when you're practicing stuff like this, do it very slow, too. That's a good point. I should point out. So you want to learn all this stuff in all 12 keys. So again, once I, if I do it in B flat, for instance, I'm not going to call out the chords. So just the same exercise in B. Um, these are things you should... 
learn how to do on your own. And I can give you the exercises and I, I could show you a bunch of different ways to play this, this same progression, including basic triads and uh, seventh chords. But eventually you got, if you really want to master these keys, you got to put in a lot of grunt work like that, where you have to work it out one key at a time. And we haven't even touched upper extensions. So I might even do the next video on upper extensions.